this man, this is Rob Fisher and Mike Wynn, and they broke the lap record during practice, so they very much in race mood. Followed by number six, Rob Fisher. And the sidecar races really were going to be a battle between Rob Fisher and Dave Molyneux and Mick Bodies. So over the mountain for the final time, and Fisher's lead increasing all the way. 20 seconds plus at the bungalow, and just the drop down now in toward Douglas to claim his first ever TT victory, their second only TT appearance, and victory for Rob Fisher and Mike Wynn. And the majority of outfits are running on slick tires. Now, this could cause a fair number of headaches for the drivers as number six, Rob Fisher, and Mike Wynn race one winners get underway. Mike Wynn can give us a cheery little wave, knowing that victory number two is surely theirs. They're going to be bettered by Rob Fisher and Mike Wynn. Rob Fisher and Mike Wynn, number six. Just three days before the sidecar TT and a big off for Rob Fisher almost destroys the outfit and ends the week early. Fisher and Hutchinson extremely lucky. But with the help of the whole paddock in general and Dave Molyneux in particular, the impossible was achieved and the repairs completed in time for the start, even though it does look a little second-hand. This is Rob Fisher leaving the line, won both the sidecar outings in 94, just a year after he showed up as a newcomer in 93. Has already moved into the lead on the timesheets as he eats up the 10-second interval between himself and Bodice, and just a few moments later, Bodice is second on the road and more than 10 seconds down on Rob Fisher. Over the mountain, on the opening lap, the race now two-thirds of a lap old, and Fisher, who's lucky to be here at all, looking like a man on his way to win number three. Round quarter bridge at the start of lap two, first of two flying laps, Fisher is 18 seconds clear of Bodice. Over the crest of Snay Fell, Fisher knows the gap back to Bodice has slowly been growing. It was 18 seconds at the end of lap one, was over 20 seconds by Ballacrane and had reached 30 seconds by Ramsey. He's trimmed another three seconds off his own lap record. At last, Fisher has relaxed his record-setting speed, though you'd be forgiven for not noticing. Fisher knows it's in the bag, crossing the line to take his third consecutive win on the TT course. Away goes Fisher. Already setting a blistering pace is Fisher, so much for a quiet Wednesday afternoon drive. Fisher is flying again. Swooping across the mountain curves, Fisher and Hutchinson are on another runaway ride to victory, unless someone else can do something to stop them. Who'd ever have thought we'd have even seen Rob Fisher out on the circuit after that horrendous crash at Mayhill during practice? It's Fisher who goes through first, and out of the window goes another lap record. Basically, the Rob Fisher at the bungalow, way, way, way out on his own. Round the left-hander, Bedstead, and then down into Governor's Bridge, and the end of yet another lap. Fisher probably unlikely to be unduly upset about not having the absolute course record. He came here just three years ago as a newcomer, finished fifth and took the newcomer's award, and since then he has to be beaten here yet. In any case, it's all over, bar a lot of shouting that'll be done when Fisher crosses the line. Coming past the Governor's Mansion, he's just seconds away from this chequered flag and his fourth consecutive TT win.